Hi everybody, welcome to another video. I am still sick, but I am trying to get out content that is enjoyable to both myself and you guys. So here we are with the Spiro Toys Animals of the Warrior Kingdom Pale. Now, excuse me, uh, these were sent over by Spiro Toys. They sent me three samples. I'm going to try to review all three. But, I will say this, and I've been talking in text messages with Just and Renee from Hard to Find Toys. And let me tell you, I was pleasantly surprised by these guys <clears throat> to the point where I, I let out audible gasp and I wish I would have caught that on camera because you have to understand I have been trying to catch up with Spiro Toys guys every chance I get at every convention and I've literally always missed them. When we were at Legion's Con, Toy Bro was uh, hanging out playing at the table with them, tried to get over there to talk to them, never got a chance to. And the fact that it somehow came to the point of them sending me something, I'm very fortunate that uh, people vouch for me because I missed every chance to try to do the groundwork and speak to them. So I do regret not being able to, to get down and talk with those guys. But I am blown away by these. Uh, they are ridiculously fun. And what they do is exceptional for what they are. And I, and I only wish that I could have spoke good things about them sooner. That's why I really wish I would have been able to, to play with them at Legion's Con. But I, man, listen, I am very happy with these exceptional work. Uh, the look on these, the articulation, oh, it's A1. So let us get started. Our look is really great. We have Pale here in adventure armor. We have our bandolier on the backside. We have storage for our weapon. We have our gauntlets. We have uh, waist armor and foot armor. And I find it hilarious that there's both waist and foot armor because you want to keep your mobility free <coughs> for your arms to swing, right? But you want to protect the important parts. And uh, one thing I thought that was funny about these, I really wish that the feet came with <clears throat> articulation for holding weapons. I don't know why, but I, I really would have adored something like that. I would have found that hilarious. So, but yeah, here we are with Pale. And these are soft and poseable, so you can move them. So articulation wise, right? We have a beautiful look up. We can look down. It's, it's beautiful how well this works. We can rotate left and right with little to no problem, right? lots of range look at that look at the range right there is so much range in this figure because the neck and the head joint have a ton of movement that allows it and uh man i gotta say i was blown away by it, the way it works we have a beautiful butterfly joint as you can see we can hit basically a y right we have backwards and forwards articulation right i have to work these joints out because i've only played with them ever so recently i know i've had the flu look at that backward movement here look at that how we rotate backwards very easily for our reverse ab crunch going forward we have phenomenal ab crunch going forward like it's it's utterly ridiculous and on top of that we are on a ball joint here at the bottom which allows for even more range oh so beautiful right we have a bicep swivel we have a beautiful double joint that even with armor in place we can really get there we have a horizontal uh, peg joint here for item holding hand as far as our leg articulation goes even in armor our guys can get all the way outward with our legs we can get forward with the 90 degrees with no problem there is thigh swivel and no drop down because I don't think it's needed but we have a beautiful double joint and we have beautiful beautiful ankle pivot so these guys can actually get in a ton of different poses like oh my god this is so good so yeah, that audible gas that I let out when playing with these actually led to me choking <laughs> a lot. My wife was very worried <laughs> because uh, I, I definitely uh, was really sick the other day and I still am. I'm in recovery mode now, but I am allowed to to talk here at a, at a very stuffy volume. But yeah, look at this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have to take a little breaks in between, but uh, this is absolutely gorgeous in every which way and i was talking to just he was able to get his into a double sword holding so i want to make sure that i can actually recreate that as well and it looks like yes you can so i'm gonna when i get to the accessories i'm gonna talk about that and since we're ever so close to that point let us begin to do that right so without further ado i want to make sure do we have the ability to rotate our ankles no we don't so i just want to make sure right so without further ado i'm going to begin to jump into the accessories so let's do that so now we left our boy pale here in this pose because i want to talk about our weapons so for pale we will get one long sword 
and we're gonna pop these in his hands right now so we can show it off if we had a bastard sword or a long sword or a brute sword anything like that you'll see that the handle would be longer but he can clearly hold it with two hands across so that means even when I rotate the arms ever so briefly technically he can hold it this way too so any sort of long sword or anything like that look at that articulation wise we are in the gold with the Spiro toy stuff so far and I like that you will also get some twin daggers lovely you'll get an axe I do like the coloring on these I'm definitely going to have to send these out to my boy Alex Richardson to give a wash though him or anything posable and then we have another short sword as you can see here I really like this stuff so far I'm very happy with what we're getting and these are exciting and new so it's always a more fun that way here we have two large gripping hands now uh, with another character I've noticed these were able to hold some other items so I'm gonna keep these in mind as well these are on horizontal pivots so just keep that in mind they blend pretty well and I'm gonna have to heat mine up as you can see here they are really really uh, tight so I'm gonna have to heat mine up and you'll also get a set of closed fist as you've already seen the item holding hand so keep that in mind when you have these guys so <clears throat> now that we've gone through that I'm gonna take a break and uh, drink some water with some uh, some lemon in it <laughs> and then we're gonna get to the size comparison so I'll see you guys in a sec all right now we're in a size comparison so let's get to it so here are some other Spiro toys from animals of the warrior kingdoms I have yet to remember their names yet but I actually really really like this guy's look oh man I'm gonna have a ball with him too and then here we are with another character and I, and I swear to you I'm gonna memorize their names but uh, maybe when I'm not hopped up on Dayquil uh, so yes here we are with a size comparison and it looks like technically the mod, the line may be modular and universal so that means if you want to paint your guy up figure out some different parts outside of torsos and arms I believe right now uh, it might be semi-universal so I'm okay with that again I don't have all the details because I've missed every opportunity to get a chance to talk to these guys I'm trying to make up for that now so with that being said let's jump into some other lines right because I'm into the sword and sorcery of this line and just the overall craziness of this the first thing I want to do is compare these guys to stuff like Mythic Legions. I feel like it'll work very well blending in with that line, cartoony or not. Uh, this will feed my Dungeons and Dragons need. Uh, here we are with a 1.0 Legions body. And then if you're curious, here we are with a 2.0 Legions body. Artemis Silvercore 2 and my Barbarian Builder Mix. So yes, I think Spiro Toys works really well and with this line in terms of height creativity and love this is going to be really really fun right again excuse me as I struggle to breathe so I'm sorry about that uh, next up I want to try the Kulu world 112 skeletons so here we are with one of the Kulu world skeletons right I feel like that's a nice fit as usual I'm gonna toss in my bid for the Mezco 112 Conan always a plus to any line uh, for Conan just for me fits in everywhere so don't judge me. He's he's gonna go in where I deem him to be fit in, cause that's that's the fun of my universe, right? So I feel like this works very well as well too. On our next batch of stuff, we have stuff like the McFarlane the Witcher. In case you want to have some fun with that, McFarlane is a seven inch line, not a one twelve scale line. So here we are with the Witcher. He doesn't stand very well. Then I have the Zessray Studios Gladiator Woman. And the gladiator females and males stand roughly around the same height. Then if you want, here is Mezco's Predator. Because I feel like these guys can have a nice trade-off. And in case you're curious, here we are with NECA's Predator. I chuck my main man Greyback. Homie to all homies. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm uh, doing my best. It doesn't always get there but just in case you want to mix them up in your star wars universe here we are with shf boba fett and the shf stuff is actually really close to the back series height so in case you're wondering there's that and and in case you want humans to invade your warrior kingdom or just have a standoff here we are with some valiver stuff looking pretty cool as well 
Next up, we're going to do SHF. So here we are with my main man, Kamen Rider Kuga. His amazing mighty form. Black and gold, baby. Black and gold. Right? Then we have Marvel Legends. And for Marvel Legends, I chose Ben Riley Spider-Man. And that should pretty much round us out for this, for the Spiral Toy stuff. We're going to try to get all the comparisons in it all the time. Uh, oh, yeah. And just one more. Here's G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Oop. So I'll get back to that. <laughs> Snake Eyes is going to replace Cougar right now. Because uh, just in case the military thing takes over. Right? So, thank you so much for watching, even while I'm being sick. It's a lot, but uh, I'm doing my best. And thank you to Spiro Toys for reaching out. Thank you to Hard to Find Toys. He actually has some stuff up that I can ship to you right away. I'll put the link in the description when it goes up. Uh, but thank you so much for everybody watching as I try new and different things that are definitely fun and exciting uh, and bring a lively spirit to what I got going on, which hopefully brings a lively spirit to you. It's been a pleasure to really do things that I've uh, been been having a lot of fun with. So I just want to say thank you uh, because I've I had some burnout a while back and now I'm really feeling it. So I feel good. So, as, well, not physically because I'm still sick, but you know what I mean? <laughs> so as always, please. Be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Bye.